In order to start sending emails, you must first sign up for an email service. There are many free email services out there. I recommend using Google's Gmail or MSN's Hotmail and LiveMail. For this tutorial, I'm going to use LiveMail because in a later video, we are going to learn about Windows LiveMail, which will give us a Hotmail or a LiveMail account. Both Hotmail and LiveMail are free accounts that are provided by Microsoft. To access the account, you will need to open up your internet browser and go to one of three locations, msn.com, live.com, or hotmail.com. I'm going to go to live.com to sign in. If you would like to sign up for a new email account, click the sign up option on the left and walk through the steps. I've already signed up for an account, so I'm going to go back and sign in. Now that I'm signed into my account, we can learn how to use the LiveMail web application. This web application allows us to organize, manage, and create new emails. Most other web applications that you use, such as Google's Gmail, will have a pretty similar layout. Let's click on the inbox to view our messages. This is where all of our emails will be saved. If an email has not been previously read, it will be in bold writing. All emails that you receive will be in this format and will include the person or business that it's from and the subject of the email. For example, the first email that I received is from the Hotmail team. And if I hover over it, I will be able to view the actual email address. This one is from member services at live.com so I know it's okay to open. With all emails, you need to be sure who the email is from before you open it. There is a lot of viruses that are sent by email, and just opening it can cause the virus to be downloaded onto your computer. So a common practice to get into is to check who sent the email. If you are not sure who sent the email or it looks suspicious, then you need to delete it right away. Hotmail also includes a nice feature that tells us if the email is from a trusted sender by indicating it with a green check. To open the email, just click on it once. If you would like to add the sender to your contacts so that you can easily send an email back to them, click Add to Contacts. Another nice feature that Hotmail offers is the ability to add a view window. Let me add this to show you what it does. Go up to Options and click on right or left from the drop down list. Now, when I click on a message, you can see that it shows the inbox on the left and the message on the right. Now, let's look at the left side of the web application. Right now, we are in the inbox, and we can tell this because it's highlighted in blue. Underneath that is our folders to help us sort our messages. The junk folder, also known as the spam folder, is where messages that are considered spam get sent. We will go into detail about spam mail and how to avoid it in an upcoming video. The draft folder is where unfinished messages get sent. When you start to write an email, the message will be auto-saved into this folder. If you get unexpectedly cut off when you're writing the message, you should be able to find it in this folder and continue to write it. The sent folder is where messages that you send to people get saved so that you can keep track of them. If you forgot what you said in a message, you can come back into this folder and reread the message that you sent. The deleted folder is where messages that you delete from your inbox get sent before they are permanently deleted. It works just like the recycling bin on the computer. If you accidentally delete a message that you needed, you can come back in here and retrieve it. Down at the bottom, we have access to our contacts and the calendar. If you would like to add a new contact, go into the contacts and click on new at the top. This will bring up a large form where we can enter all the information about that contact. 
There is also the option to edit or delete a contact. If you had lots of contacts, you could sort through them alphabetically by clicking one of the letters. In the next video, we will take a look at how to create and send a new email.